guys welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to be reviewing my subscribers bikes once again so this is part two if you haven't seen part one already make sure you watch the whole of this video first and then go and check out part one because there's some banging bikes on part one as well but obviously if you're watching this video and the subscribe button is red you can change that quite easily by clicking it making it go grey because obviously it costs you absolutely nothing to subscribe to me and about 65% of you aren't subscribed so it helps me out a big amount if you subscribe and turn on post notifications so I don't want to waste any more of your time and let's get straight on to the first bike okay so the first bike that we have right now is this Mafia Blackjack I believe it's a Blackjack and not a Bomber now the first thing I'll say is it has Blad rims which obviously they are quite nice rims the same one that I think Ted has but he has them in a 27.5 version now, there's not too much wrong with this bike, but it does look a bit dirty, so it could do with a clean. And I would recommend getting new tyres and getting hookworms. And also putting on a pair of big honking bars, because that will just make the bike all round look a bit better. Because right now it looks like it could be a dinger. But it might not even be a dinger, it might just be dirty. But put some hookworms on, and put some... Uh, Put some uh, new big honking bars on it in black and the bike will look great. And put some new black ODI grips on it. Okay guys, next we have this C100. It's not a Pro, it's a V2 in aqua blue. Now it looks quite nice, it looks like it has quite a few upgrades. Like Renful fat bars, blue ODI grips, a new brake and hook arms. So obviously I can't rate this one too highly. Um, because it's, I don't know, all of them look the same. They all kind of look like this. But it is quite a nice, fresh looking bike. So I will rate it a 7.5 out of 10. Okay guys, next we have one wheel CDs, Fat Ripper. Now it's like a dark blue, nearly purplish kind of colour. It looks very purple in this photo, but in other photos it looks more of a dark blue. So this bike is probably one of my favourite flats I've ever seen, just all round, it's quite, it's just a pang really, like, I, if I was him I would have put big honkins on it instead of super bigs, but that's personal, personal preference, but the bike's just been done really well, so I have to write it a 9.5 out of 10. Okay guys, this is also CD's bike, well it was, it's his old bike, and that is a fast ripper, he's upgraded it not too much it's mostly stock but that's the way i like bars rippers it does have a different kit which i think was a bit of a mistake and it should have had kept the original kit on but i believe he got the bike like that but i've never had a go on it but i've heard good things about it and i've heard it's really fresh and it looks nice so i'm just going to rate it a solid 8 out of 10. okay so the next bike we're going to be reviewing is the Boardman Pro. Now this one is it's quite it's quite nice. Okay, it's not really too much to say about it. It's similar to one way this one. They're just a beautiful bike. Like it's just beautiful. He's spent quite a bit of money on this one I think. But uh basically I don't re I can't really say too much about it. It's got like Renfalls, Renfall stem good brake, new forks, because the forks are coming in are white and they're a bit ugly and they don't really suit the bike. This is one of the nicest MTBs I've ever seen. Now I don't want to give it a 10 because I feel like we haven't found the number 10 yet. So I'm going to rate this one a 9.75. Okay so the next one is this Mafia Bomber. I used to think this was like a crackle or a blackjack kind of thing but I recently found out that this is a bomber and it's a type of bomber. Now, you can't really see too much what he's done to it, but you can see he's got white DMRs for it and white and orange spokes. Which, obviously, if you're going for a white and orange kind of look for the bike, then that is quite nice. I would recommend getting some hookworms and putting white and orange, um, like, what do you call it, paint pen on the uh, lines. I think that'll look really good. <laughs> because I think um, snake skins just aren't the best tyres and I think they're a bit too colourful. And I think they sometimes ruin bikes. So, yeah. Um, that is my 
opinion on this bike and I'm going to rate it a 7 out of 10. Okay guys, so this is the next one and it is a Carrera. Now, I am not a very big fan of Carreras, however, this bike is quite nice and I've seen the guy's edits on it. I can't exactly remember what it is, but I've seen him have his edits on this bike and he seems to be like, pretty good on it. Like, he's just like alright on a Carrera. He did like switch the pedal or something, but we're not really talking about how good he is, we're talking about the bike rate. So if I was you, I'd get some super motos. I think they fit. If they don't, if it's a 29 inch, which actually I believe it is. I'm a bit stupid. I think it is 29 inch. I'd get some hookworms because it's going to improve your combos and it will make their bike look a lot better and more like a wheelie bike and less like a mountain bike. But at the moment, I'm going to rate it a 6.5 out of 10. Okay, so the next bike we have is this 27.5. Mafia Bomber, the cream one. Now, I do quite like this colour. And at the beginning I thought that the cream meant it was like a different frame size or something. But I later learned it is basically a 27.5 Bomber. It's just been made to look a bit different. Kind of like how the Public Enemy Big Ripper is and stuff like that. So, it is quite a nice colour. Purple is one of my favourite colours. You might notice this from the bikes I've had. And it looks quite upgraded. And it all round it looks like a nice bike. So, I'm going to rate it a 8 out of 10. Okay guys, so the next one is Jamie's C100 Pro. Now, it, this is a really nice bike. Um, it's had quite a lot of upgrades on it, like the hookworms and all the Hope parts. I'm not sure if this is the most up-to-date photo of it, but there's so many Hope parts. Like, you just got a new Hope back wheel and a Hope front wheel, Hope pedals. Like, there's, there's so much Hope stuff on this bike. So, um, I think the Hope pedals are a bit over, overpriced for what they are, but it does make the bike look really expensive and really fresh. So, I'm going to have to rate the bike a 9.5 out of 10, purely because of the amount of money spent on it and how clean the bike looks. So yeah, I'm going to rate it 9.5 out of 10. Okay, so the next one is this Mafia Bomber. Now, it does look quite upgraded because as the bike comes, it comes with black parts and gold parts. And he's made it black and blue, which is quite a nice combination for pretty much any bike. So he's put blue snake skins on, which I'm not really a fan of. I don't really like snake skins. But he's done that, and he has put just a bunch of blue parts in it, like blue grips and stuff like that. If I was you, I would put hookworms on it and put blue tyre paint on them rather than having snake skins because hookworms will improve you at com it'll make you better at combos and I'd also put a slightly better brake on it like a Dior or an SLX but bikes are personal preference so that's my opinion and um, everyone has their own opinion on what makes them better and what makes their bike look good but as it stands I'm going to rate the bike 7.5 out of 10 Okay, so the next one we have is um, Bike Life Dima's MTB. I'm not actually sure what MTB this is. It could be a foreign one because I don't recognise it and it has been sprayed maybe to cover up the logos and stuff like that. So it's not really too obvious what the bike originally was. But I know it does have 26 inch wheels because those tyres come in 26 and they're really wide tyres so they're probably quite good for combos. And they do look quite nice. Now I do like the bike being blacked out with purple parts. Like I'm a big fan of black and purple. Especially on a bike. But they are one of my favourite both one of my favourite colours. So I'm gonna rate the bike an eight point five out of ten, simply on looks. I don't know how it rides and I assume it rides quite nice because he's not too bad on it. So yeah, that's my review on this bike. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. It would mean a lot if you dropped a like and subscribe. Also, let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see next. And I'll try and make it happen. Um, I'm going to be making a part 3 soon. So, if this video does well. So get this to 25 likes if you want to see a part 3. And, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for all the support recently, guys.